things we wear, to the things we eat, to the cars we drive, and the juice that boosts them forward. Everything has been changed. Prices going up, prices going down, buying power, the rand up, JSC stock exchange, land! But young people know with all of these changes that have been happening throughout the years in our lives are directly affected by who we put in power and the political decisions they make. Well, I'm gonna go and find out and get you guys enlightened on the real price of gold. I am well aware that everything that happens in the economy, whether it's petrol or just grocery, it's all affected by politics. What happens in the politics will stay in the politics. I don't believe that it includes me in any way. Okay, so how much does this cost? I think it was 99 but 99 rand? Yeah, I know, right? Buying power. Okay, how much do you think this would have cost five years? I honestly think this was probably worth like 40 bucks max. So it's, it's, it's more than doubled. Yeah. Today, it takes it to Pomalanga is 210. In 2010, I think it was uh, 120. Do you think it has anything to do with politics? I think it has a lot to do with the economy. Obviously, politics kind of affect that. So, Fetz, you having a steak? Yes, sir. Where do you think that uh, beef comes from? It's from Macau. Okay, I feel stupid now. Like most of the things we get are actually imported. So, yeah, even our cars, it's most likely that they import it. I'm also aware that we have a trade agreement with China. So, if that changes, it will affect the cost of the clothes that we wear, our shoes, and all the things that we get from them. Even our cows are imported. Next time you pay Lobola, think about that. If the government passed a law, maybe taxing agriculture more, how do you think that would affect your place? It would have a great impact. I mean, most of the things we eat is from agriculture. I mean, look, I'm having fries. That's potatoes right there. So yeah, it will be crazy. It will be crazy. So you can see the power lines behind me. We all know the ESCOM story. And the prices for electricity have been changing rapidly over the years. Did you know that that is directly dependent on how much the government gives to ESCOM to bail them out in certain situations? Did you know that it's directly dependent on who our energy minister is? And that is a political decision. Political decisions directly affecting your life. So next time you go into a taxi and cough out a rand, just know that a part of that is determined directly by who you put in power. Hmm? Hello? Sats, taxi at much. <laughs>